In Colombia, deforestation is rising as settlers move into areas abandoned by guerrilla groups and clear the land to make way for cattle and fields. But there are some farms in the country that are pushing back against this trend. As Manuel Rueda reports from the state of Caldas, they're finding more sustainable ways to profit from the land. This is Hacienda El Bosque, a dairy farm surrounded by cloud forest. Tourists from around the world come here to see elusive birds like the grey-breasted mountain toucan and this forest-dwelling critter known as the crescent-faced ampita. Before this place exist, the only options to see this ampita was in, Bog in Ecuador in Cerro Mangus. You have to walk, hike in two days and camp in there trying to see them. But here it is quite reliable. That's the main reason people come here for that ampita. Hacienda El Bosque used to rely on milk for all of its revenue, but it opened the bird watching lodge three years ago to generate new sources of income. The owners realized that the cloud forest is home to dozens of species, so they've decided to limit their grazing land and protect much of the forest on their property. 30 years ago, my father started to protect the forest because he wanted to keep our sources of water safe. Now we're using these forests to create a beautiful experience for tourists, especially those interested in birdwatching and photography. Last year, deforestation rose by 8% in Colombia. 1,700 square kilometers of forests were lost to industries like cattle ranching but there are some farms in the country that are giving conservation a chance. At this small property called the color of my dreams, the main attraction is the black-billed mountain toucan. The lodge was formerly a dairy farm and it's located next to a nature reserve. Owner Andres Giraldo is letting the forest regrow to expand the habitat for wildlife. This is not a business that turns a profit overnight. It takes some time, but we are doing this because we are passionate about conservation. We want people to learn about the birds and appreciate the forest. Unlike the color of my dreams, Hacienda El Bosque still produces milk. But now the owners don't feel like they have all of their eggs in one basket. Recent political developments have also increased their interest in conservation. A free trade agreement between Colombia and the United States has lowered the price of milk in Colombia and made dairy farming less profitable. According to the owners, 50% of the farm's income could come from tourism by the end of this year. Colombia is home to more than 1,900 species of birds, more than any other country. So there's plenty to show to tourists, as long as bird habitats are preserved. Manuel Rueda, TRT World, Caldas, Colombia.